Hello there. So nice to see you. <sighs> Anyways, may I please introduce myself? Okay, great. My name is Florida. And as you can see, I'm the southeasternmost U.S. state with the Atlantic on one side and the Gulf of Mexico on the other. So, it has hundreds of miles of beaches. The city of Miami is known for its Latin American culture influences and notable art and notable art scene, as well as its nightlife. Especially in upscale South Beach. Yeah, especially in upscale South Beach. Orlando is famed for theme parks, including Walt Disney World. Haha. <laughs> so, my capital is Tallahassee. Here is a photo. See the cool buildings and the beautiful purple and blue sky? Very nice. Anyways, and I have a population so the population number is 21.78 million as of 2021 very cool and I have a lot of cities so not only Tallahassee but it's also Miami Orlando Tampa Jacksonville Destin Fort Lauderdale Naples, Pensacola, hmm. maybe a few more, and then I'll move on. Yeah, I'm a bit shy, you know. And Sarasota, St. Petersburg, St. Augustine, Clearwater, West Palm Beach, um, Daytona Beach, um, Gaines, Gainesville, um, Fort Myers, um. Um, Kissimmee. Well, um, ooh, Alcoa, Panama City, um, Boca Raton, Panama City Beach, Miami Beach, um, the villages, Florida City, um, Bradenton, and Cape Coral. And there's so much more if you go to Florida. Yeah, if you travel to me. Of course. And I have landmarks. So the landmarks are Walt Disney World Resort. Yeah. Also known as Disneyland. The Everglades National Park. The Castillo the San Marcos National Monument, um, the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, Coral Castle, Bach Tower Gardens, hmm. um, the Hemingway Home and Museum, um, um, the Dali, um, or the Salvador Dali Museum, 
um, and even the southernmost point of continental USA. Yeah, those are a lot of landmarks. You could even go there. Mm -hmm. And I even have an unemployee rate, which is 2.6% as of November 2022. And I have a flag. So here is what it looks like. So, my flag is similar to Alabama, but there's a seal. And there's a lady that is on a beach with a palm tree and a bush. And there's a, there's a sail ship on that salt water. And there's the sun setting in the sky. And it says... Um, the great seal of the state of Florida. In God we trust. Um, yeah, pretty good. What a pretty nice flag. So yeah, you saw the seal? Yeah. My flag is similar to, um, Alabama's. But it just has a seal on it. And very cool. And, um, it's time for my facts. And the history. So, let's just go with the fast facts. So, my nickname is the Sunshine State. And I was established in 1845. And I was the 27th state. My biggest city is Jacksonville. My abbreviation is FL. My state bird is the Mockingbird. And finally, the state flower is the Orange Blossom. Now for the history. Alright, and here we go. So, the first people to live in what is now Florida arrived more than 12,000 years ago. They hunted small animals and gathered wild plants for food. Over the centuries, Native American tribes, including the Timucua, Apalachee, um, Calusa, and Creek, lived in the area. Spanish, I mean, yeah, Spanish Conquistador, yeah, yeah, Spanish Conquistador, which is Spanish for conqueror, um, Ponce de Leon, sailed to Florida in 1513, searching for gold and silver. He didn't find it, but he discovered, but he discovered fertile farmland and lots of coastline. Excellent for shipping. No wonder Great Britain. France and Spain all tried to establish settlements in Florida. In 1763, the British took control of Florida from Spain in exchange for the land that is now Havana, Cuba. But just two decades later, as part of the peace treaty that ended the revolution, the revolution the Revolutionary War, Spain took charge again. That didn't last long. Yeah, that didn't last long at all. New U.S. settlers began flooding in, and in 1821, Spain gave up Florida to the United States in exchange for Spanish rule over Texas. Florida officially became the 27th state in 1845. Well, I can't believe it. I'm very impressed with this. So, today, Native Americans called Seminoles still live in Florida. The people come from a combination of tribes who migrated to the area 
in the 1700s to avoid conflicts with the Europeans and with other tribes. So now everybody's getting curious about why it was called Florida. So you see, um, Florida's original Spanish name is La Florida. Which means place of flowers. So some historians think Ponce de Leon chose the name to honor the blooming flowers he saw there, or in tribute to Spain's Easter celebration called Pascua Florida, or Feast of Flowers. So, yeah. So the state animal in me. Is the panther. Here it is. The panther. And. Here is my state quarter. And no one knew. That I had a state quarter. Very nice. And guess what. Florida. Is a. Peninsula. That means it's almost completely surrounded by water. Its northernmost edge is connected to Alabama in the northwest and Georgia in the northeast. That means I share a border with Alabama and Georgia. My besties. Well, they're not my besties, but... Oh, well. So... Take a swim off Florida's west coast, and you'll be in the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So, if you dive in off the east coast, you'll be splashing in the Atlantic Ocean. Off the south coast, you'll be swimming in the Straits of Florida. The northern upland part of the state is hilly. But you'll find caves and sinkholes in the northwestern Marianne lowlands. The coastal plains contain sandy beaches, islands, and coral reefs. In the south, you can canoe through the famous Everglades National Park, swampy, wildlife-filled marshland that covers 1.5 million acres. Off the southernmost tip of the state are the Florida Keys, a group of about 1,710 islands called an archipelago. Want an island hop? No problem. A causeway and, and 42 bridges connects the various keys. Time for my wildlife. So, Florida's wildlife includes mammals like armadillos, black bears, and the Florida panther. Reptiles such as alligators, crocodiles, and snakes. Sea life like manatees, sea turtles, dolphins, and whales, and birds such as raptors, owls, cranes, and Florida state bird, the mockingbird. So, more than 300 types of native trees grow in the state, from apple and cherry trees in the north to mangrove forests in the swamps. Tall sawgrass is a common sight in marshes. Um, though Florida's most famous plant may be the orange tree, the orange blossom is the state flower. It's time for my natural resources. So many believe that Ponce de Leon was the first to plant orange seeds in Florida. About three centuries later, newly built rail railroads allowed growers to ship oranges across the United States. Today, the state provides oranges for most of the orange juice sold in the country. So, sugar crane, fish, petroleum, and phosphates used for fertilizer are also top natural resources from Florida. Time for some facts that are so fun. Eek! So here we go. 
I'm starting to get excited with this. Here we go. So Florida can make an excellent vacation spot thanks to its 663 miles of beaches. And of course, Disney World! The 40 square mile park in the city of Orlando has more than 60,000 employees and welcomes more than 62,000 visitors every day. The state can even take you out of this world. Literally, you can see an actual rocket launch from Cape Canaveral, where rockets have been taken off since 1950. And here's a picture of a rocket taking off right now. Look! There it is, the rocket blasting off into outer space. Wow, that is so cool. That's so awesome. Florida isn't just a great place to visit. Many have called the state home. Author Ernest Hemingway chose to live in Key West. Zora Neale Hurston, a member of the Harlem Renaissance author of Their Eyes Were Watching God, and a collector and publisher of African American and Afro Caribbean folklore, are also lived here. Singer Ariana Grande and former Attorney General of the United States Janet Reno were also born in Florida. That was so fun. But wait, I haven't got to my counties. So my counties are um um Esoambia, um Santa Rosa, um Okaloosa, um Walton, um Washington, um Bay, um Homeless, Jackson, um Colour, Gulf, Liberty, um, Leon, Franklin, Wakula, um, Gateston, Jefferson, um, what else? Leon? Yeah, I think I said that. So, I also have Jefferson, Madison, Taylor, um, Hamilton, um, Columbia, um, Nassau, um, Baker, uh, Sewanee, um, um, Lafayette, um, Dixie, um, Levy, um, um, Glitchris, um, Union, um, Duvel, um, Union, um, yeah, and Clay, um, Levy. Um, Bradford, um, St. John's, um, Flagler, um, Putnam, um, Marion, um, Sumter, um, Morrell, um, Dade, um, Collier, um, Hendry, um, Palm Beach, um, Broward, um, Charlotte, um, Sarasota, DeSoto, um, Manatee, Hardy, um, Hi um, Highlands, um, Seminole, um, Rivard, um, Okeechobee, um, Indian River, um, St. Lucie, um, Orange, Polk, um, Pasco, Osicola, um, Hellsboro, um, Sitrus, Sumter, Hernando, um, Lake, um, Lake and um yeah, I think that was all of them. Um yeah, yeah I think that was definitely all of them. Oh I forgot about Martin. Yeah Martin. Oh oh my that was a lot I had to say. So anyways you guys um I had a lot of fun. I was shy at first, but then I liked it. So yeah, that's all I had to say about me, Florida. And the next time you go, and the next time you travel to me, remember to call me home. 
to call the state home. Oh my, I think I'm gonna go relax. Okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. Right.